Recording. All right. What's up, everybody? I hope that y'all are having an awesome day. Today, we're going to be riding a 2006, I think it's 2006, M50. This is actually my daughter-in-law's bike, so uh, I thought it'd be awesome. Let me see if I can, hopefully this is all adjusted. Anyway, <clears throat> I love, I love this bike. This is dark, the Dark Knight Edition. Check out the uh, tail light. It looks like a bat wing, Batmobile, not Batmobile, bat whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I have been running 100 miles an hour today and uh, just had to actually come and meet a fella to give me a price on a fence for my backyard because all of our dogs. So I thought, well, I'll ride my daughter-in-law's bike on the way to church. So let's pray. Jesus, give us a great trip to church, to the work place, to the job place. And uh, God, keep cars out of our lane and help us to be able to make it in good time and to make it safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Let's strap this down and let's get it going. So I didn't ask if I could ride Kayla's bike. I hope it's okay. But I figured she wouldn't mind. Absolutely love this bike. I've only ridden it once. The day that Bryson went to go get it. Uh, oh man, I was trying to do a heel shift and I don't have a heel shift on here. <laughs> so bad. So, ah, look at this. Makes me think of the Joker and Dark Knight. Oh. So I have not checked the tire pressure in these things. And I know that at one point tire pressure was low. Oh yeah, baby. As Max wrist was say, Maxi, yeah, baby. This is so good, I love it. I hope that everybody's had a great day. Let me pull this mic away from my face a little bit. Maybe I'm not blowing your ears out. But I hope that y'all had a great Sunday. It is Monday tonight. It is Celebrate Recovery. And uh, Cody's going to be teaching a lesson on morale. So I'm excited to hear about it and hear about what he's got to say. I don't think that I've ever heard him teach a lesson before. What's up, peeps? How y'all doing? How's your mom and him? So I'm excited about hearing his lesson and hearing how he teaches and Heck, I'm excited about riding this motorcycle. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So yesterday at church, we talked about toxic influences in your life. And uh, I know that a lot of people, you know, maybe you don't even think about what toxic influences are. You, you just, you know, you live life. Most of us, that's what we do. We live life. And uh, we don't think about the toxicity. Is that a word? Toxicity? We don't think about the crap in our life. Man, I wonder how, how do I tell how much gas I've got in this thing? Wow, my phone's going to fall off. So this is an 805cc. But anyway, so I was thinking I'm just going to put my phone up there. Whatever. Uh, in our life and in our walk, man, we've got so many toxic things that come our way. So many toxic things, whether it's the people we hang around with. I mean, typically, I mean, honestly, with toxic things, I mean, it's easy to understand. People that you hang around can be toxic. So we know that, that's no surprise. I mean, that's, that, it is what it is. And a lot of us have toxic friends and, and chances are we're probably telling them, oh, you know, uh, we're gonna take a left today. Let's go this back way. I think I brought y'all this way before, but I'm not sure, so we'll do it again. Um, but a lot of us, we have toxic people in our lives and you know, whether there's somebody that's constantly tearing you down. Uh, we, we all have people like that. It's like when you see them walk into the room, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to be around them. I don't want to hang around them. I wish they weren't in the room. Why do they got to see me? You know, people we hide from. But I'm not talking about that kind of toxic person. I'm talking about we have people in our lives that, uh, you know, friends that it's like, Oh, I left my blinker on. Oh, I hate that. I'm so dumb. Anyway, but we have people that whenever we get around them, we decide to, to do bad things, whether it's do drugs, drink, cuss, cuss more, 
uh, if you cuss. Um, we all have where we've got those people, maybe they just spur us to do bad things. Like we get around them and it's like we have to do bad things because, you know, whatever. So that's Toxic Friends. And then we have books, you know, uh, for those of you. And, and it's mostly women because not a lot of dudes read books. But uh, books can be something that are toxic to you. Because um, I was talking to my wife and I said, you know, anytime that I read a book, and I, I do read because I believe that a leader is a reader. Um, so I think that you need to be reading books. But uh, I said, anytime I read a book, I was like, my mind is 100%. Oh, don't no, say my nose is itching. Oh, that feels better. I said, my mind is like transported. Like, but I don't even think about it. Like, I don't think about what's going on in the world around me at that point or anything. It's like, and, and, and I read a lot of, I don't read fiction books. I only read nonfiction, you know, and I, and I read books about the Civil War. I read mostly the books that I read are about, you know, our religious past as far as preachers, not necessarily religious, but uh, not necessarily. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I read Christian books, if that makes any sense, if there's a such thing. But when I'm reading a book, my mind is totally immersed in whatever I'm reading. So, you know, I love that. Um, so whenever you read a book, it may be a toxic influence on you. So it could be Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, there's all kinds of things that are toxic to us and toxic to our walk with Christ and uh, our daily lives. So we've got to make sure that, listen, that is Mossy Creek Farms. Boy, that's cool. Let's see what this bike will do. Love it. So what kind of toxic things do you have in your life? Friends, books, social media, you know. Whoa, I don't want that phone to go. <laughs> I don't want to lose my phone. A lot of vibration on this bike. But, uh, you know, and so people go, well, Dwayne, how do I tell if it's toxic? Well, is, is whatever you're doing, is it glorifying to God? Oh, that is bad. Ah, oh, those things are bad. Anyway, uh, you know, does does what you what you do does it glorify God? Hey, me and Jenny almost bought that house right there, and it's back on the market again. I don't know if it's still on the market from the first time, but anyway, we didn't get that house because it didn't have a pantry. Like nowhere to put your food is weird. But uh, so back to my thing. Sorry, squirrel. I just uh, you know, when whenever you're trying to figure out what is it that's toxic in your walk or in your life. Uh, ask yourself, does what I'm, you know, how does this glorify God? Does it does it glorify God? Does it not glorify God? Um, does it bring honor to Him? Uh, because if it doesn't, chances are it's a toxic. It's, a, it's something that's toxic. Let's fix this thing right here. This is how I ride. Wrist cramp. Wrist cramp remover whatever people ask me all the time Dwayne how do you twist the throttle well I don't need that but it sure a heck makes it a lot easier there goes my phone again watch this I'll get to about 80 and there it goes <laughs> so the things in your life oh this thing's just going to keep on going it's driving me crazy <laughs> So does it bring glory to God? Does it tear you down or does it build you up? Because we all have things that we do that tear us down. Hey, we have things that we do that maybe they're, they're not so bad, but oh my gosh, they just, they don't build you up. And I, you know what? I, I realize I'm not gonna live on this earth that long, especially riding motorcycles with dry rod on the tires. But um, I'm not gonna live that long and I just, when I leave, man, I want this body to be used up. But I want it to be used up for the glory of God, for the kingdom. You know, I don't want it to be used up because for the devil. Um, what up, dude? Nice beard. I liked it. I had an awesome beard, but I shaved it. Now I look like a young buck. My wife loves me more, I think. So the things that you look at the toxic influences in your life and i know if you look listen you can go back and watch my sermon from yesterday you have to forgive us because on the video uh, from yesterday like we got the first two songs maybe and then the sound went out 
and then after the after the sound went out, it came back for my preaching. Uh, so you can hear the the message in its entirety. You can go to Vimeo and watch it. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. Y'all can see that from my moto vlogs. But so anyway, so that is uh, that's what I was thinking about was toxic influence. That's what I preached about. This coming week, I'm talking about toxic friendships, relationships. So it should be a lot of fun. But uh, I did tell an illustration yesterday, and I was and I'll tell y'all if you're not if you've made it this far in this video. Um, I was thinking yesterday. There was a, you know, about toxic things. And, and we think, well, hey, Dwayne, it's not that bad. You know, what I'm doing is not that bad. I just cuss a little bit. I just do a little bit. You know, it's not that bad. You know, the movies I watch, I don't watch that much. It's not that bad. The friends that I have, they're not that big of an influence. It's just a little bit. Well, a little bit of poison goes a long way. And we have to remember that. I mean, I had told illustration yesterday about a, a 14 year old kid wanted to go to a movie it was a pg-13 movie so of course you know according to our culture he's old enough to go because he's 14 and it's a pg-13 movie and i talked about how his mom had told him all right i'll let you go to the movie i mean you're doing good you've been cleaning your room you're passing all your grades in school you know and, and she asked him what about the movie what's it about and he said well it's about this and that, so it's, it's not that bad, you know, there's not that many bad parts in it, it's just a little bit. She said, okay, she said, well, before you go, I'm gonna make you some brownies. So she made him some brownies, and uh, while she was making the brownies, she actually went out into the backyard and scooped up a little bit of dog poop, just a little bitty, just a part of a turd, just a little bit, and she took it back in and mixed it in with the brownies, and he was so happy because he loves brownies, you know, and. She made the brownies and said, here you go, before you go to the movies, here's your brownies. And he was about to take the first bite. And she said, now, wait a minute. I just need to tell you before you take your first bite, there's a little bit of poop in those brownies. And he said, what? And she said, yeah, I went out and got a little dog turd. You know, a little, not a really a whole dog turd, just a little piece of the dog turd. Put it in the brownies, mixed it in. He said, mom, that's disgusting. That's gross. I can't eat this. Oh my gosh. And she said, why? It's just a little bit. I mean, just a little bit. So y'all see what I mean by that. You see the, the moral of the story is, man, a little poop goes a long ways. So we have to remember that whenever we are, man, I've been riding this whole time with a dang blinker on again. Ugh, can I ever, can't remember to turn my blinker off. So um, a little poop goes a long way. We just have to remember that. All right, blinker is on. Do, 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 do. I am turning, and now I am turning my blinker off. Man, I love this bike. I told Bryson, I said, if you ever decide to sell this thing again, because the funny thing is, he bought this bike, sold it, and then two weeks later turned around and bought it back from the guy he sold it to. I said, if you sell this bike again, you've got to give it to me. Like, you got to offer it to me first. Love this thing, man. Here we go. I mean, I'm not into speeding or doing wheelies. Well, everybody likes a little bit of speed. Let's be honest. Everybody likes to break the law. It makes you feel like an outlaw. But you don't want to do it. It's like you want to do it until you see the cop, and then you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is squirrely. Yeah, I need to add some air in this front tire, I think. Oh, but I like riding this bike. Man, this is a good bike. I tried to get my wife to ride it. Like I said, this is my daughter-in-law's bike. Bryson bought it for her. So, Kayla, you're going to love this bike. That gum, I left my blinker on again. Oh, I thought I turned it off. I even said I turned it off. I think that I have a ghost that turns my blinker on. Here we go. And that's 80. Woo! A lot of vibration on this thing. And my phone fell. All right, turning my blinker on. So we do have parking for motorcycles only here at the church. Way that you get there. Turn my blinker off, I forgot to turn it off. It's right here. 
See, it says motorcycle parking only. So we turn in here. This is where we park on Sundays. There's always a bunch. But I'm gonna ride through here today. You can see where they put the roof on our fellowship hall, on our fellowship hall. Put that roof right on there, boy. I love this bike. It's not a very fast bike, but it'll get you where you're going safe and you look cool on it. Oh, I hate getting here this late. I feel like my whole day is just messed up. So, <coughs> let me give y'all one more walk around. Oh, and the key is here. It's such a weird place. Look at that. Man, ain't that a pretty bike? She pretty. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for a beautiful day to come out here and to just get to ride around and have a good time. Thank you for the blue skies. Thank you for my church. Thank you for another safe ride to work. God, I'm so glad that you have made it where I live in a place that's got some really fun roads to ride. God, give us a great day. Help us to stay away from toxic influences, whether it's friends, whether it's family. God, I know it could be family. Help us to stay away from these toxic places and uh, help us to focus on you more. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride to work with me today. I love y'all, and I will see y'all on the flip side. Peace out.